A very good morning to you. You're welcome to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. It's Monday the 8th of January 2024. My name is Verme Paulson. And my name is Nyamgul Agaje. We're so glad to know that you are there and you've kept faith with us. You've always been there for us and we thank you for that. It's another wonderful week that we are beginning with you. And today on the show, we'll be looking at the Lagos State Budget for 2024. Lagos Assembly raises and okays 2.267 trillion Naira 2024 budget. Yes, and also for our second hot topic, well, we'll be looking at how to map out your success in 2024 i mean it's the new year and i'm sure you have your resolutions you have your goals and aspirations and so how do you start to map out your success and ensure that at the end of the year all of these goals and dreams are achieved so that's what we'll be looking at but first let's take our quote of the day and that would set the tone for our program today and don't forget that we'll have off the press this morning as well but the words of robert shula right now to begin Okay, today's accomplishments were yesterday's impossibilities, and that is from Robert H. Schuler. Mm. I feel this is a very good quote to even yeah. start the year. Yeah. I mean, what you thought about last year that you could not achieve, um, you're already achieving them. So yesterday's impossibilities, you thought it was not possible. How can I do this? Mm. But guess what? You're accomplishing them today because you have the capabilities for more than you even think. A funny thing that happens is that sometimes you sit and you smile to yourself. Sometimes you even chuckle. And everything that always brings that kind of reaction from you is always something that you almost or actually cried about before. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. you think about how it was and you're like, <laughs> so I survived it and got to this right. point. So uh, there's, there's always that moment that you think that you cannot surmount a particular thing. But at the end of the day, you find out that you have passed it uh, without even knowing yes. in most cases. Yes. You know, it's like l learning your ABCs when you were small and you thought it was such a, a terrible thing to even do, to learn ABC, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. And you find out that you've grown old enough and then you're writing without even thinking about it. Yeah. The ABCs are still there. Right. That's how life is. Yeah. I remember when I was um, trying to drive for the first time. In fact, I learned how to drive about four times. My brother taught me, my cousin taught me. I went to two driving schools and I thought it was such a feat that maybe I might not be able to drive in my life. Mm -hmm. I was so scared. And I remember when I first got my car, and when I drove it on one of the streets, it was moving so fast. And I'm like, oh, my God, can I control Maybe this? Maybe that was uh, 20 uh, yes. kilometers per hour, but, but it was so fast Yes, it was so you. fast for me. But guess what? Now I'm, I enter the car. I know the buttons to press. I'm moving without even thinking mm -hmm. because guess what? My mind is already used to it. I'm already used to it. And it's just like driving. You might think you might not be able to do this, but guess what? You might be on that journey and you don't even realize that you've gotten so fast far and you start to look back that how was I able to accomplish all of this and even surpass it mm -hmm. so you might have the goals you might have the dreams and you might be like how can I get there but guess what you have been blessed with so many talents so many skills so many gifts and you would even be able to pass that impossibility that you mm -hmm. thought it was mm -hmm. and then it becomes achievements and there's even so much more now i know we're we're in a new year and sometimes because you're setting your goals for the year it might just be like at the end of the year will i be able to have all of this but guess what at the end of the year you just might be able to have all of that and even get more i, I remember um someone was saying maybe 2023 did not meet your expectations but then i'm like 2023 even surpassed my expectations. I did not even realize that I would do so much in this year. But I'm sure at the start of the year, maybe I had a good feeling about my year saying it was going to be a good year. But at the start of the year, I was like, am I sure I'm, I'm called for this? Mm -hmm. Am I sure I'm going to be able to do this? But here I am floating 
that's the word <laughs> i'm just i'm just floating and cruising and it, it's it doesn't even seem impossible and that has strengthened me giving me more courage to actually push in and say yes this might seem impossible, but guess what? If I've done all of this before, I can do it again. And so there is nothing impossible. And I'm going to end it here. Someone said, the sky is not your limit. It's a starting point. Yes, it's your mind mm -hmm. that is your limit. So if you tell yourself it is impossible, then it's impossible. But if you tell yourself it's possible, guess what? Your mind will never limit you. The beautiful thing is uh, some people who say they they achieve what they set out to achieve are the people who have seen what blessing God gave to them. Mm -hmm. Some people just remain where they think that, okay, the negatives that I, I had in 2023, this was what defined my 2023. Mm. What about the positives that you had? Yeah. Because like they say, count your blessings and name them one by one. You'll be surprised yes. what the Lord has done for you. So mm. why not just sit down and tabulate the kind of things that God has done for you? Sometimes you, you say a prayer, you plan your life, uh, but what you planned doesn't come to be. But something else, sometimes even better than mm -hmm. what you planned for, comes uh, yeah. your way. And then you don't look at what has come. You look at what you lost. Mm. And you get focusing on what you that. lost mm. always brings that feeling that, okay, you did not achieve, you are inadequate, you are this and that. But there are so many positives and they outweigh the negative That's all right. the time. That's so right. 2023 was good. At least you survived it, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yes. Okay, so it's a good opportunity, a good basis to begin the year 2024 aspiring for even better. That's right. Well, we'll be talking more about this when our guests come in for our second hot topic, which is mapping your success in 2024. But first, let's look at our top trending stories. And the first top trending story here comes from Plateau, which says Plateau teachers suspend plan strike. Teachers in Plateau State on Sunday suspended their plan strike bill to commence today, Monday. Their decision to suspend the strike was reached on Sunday during a meeting with the 17 local government chairmen in the state and the representatives of labor union, which was held in just the state capital. The State Secretary for Nigerian Union Teachers, Michelle De Chong, announced the suspension of the planned strike after the meeting. She explained that the resolution reached in the meeting would see the one-month salary arrears to be paid along with January 2024 salary for local government councils. Also agreed was a pledge that during the personnel audit exercise, staff due to promotion, due for promotion, who have received their promotion letters, will be captured on their current promotion status and have their arrears paid to the deserving workers after the audit exercise, while the promotion will be implemented by January 2024. The promotion of junior staff of non-professional teachers is expected to be first tracked and released for immediate capture during the personnel audit exercise and subsequent implementation. Furthermore, the personnel audit will involve all the industrial unions in the local government council simultaneously with effect from Monday the 15th of January 2024 and to be completed within 21 days. Meanwhile, the labor representatives will take part in the personnel audit exercise and other staff on government level 15 and 16 not enjoying domestic servant allowances shall have theirs implemented along with January 2024 salary. When I saw the, the headline for the first time without reading it, I, I thought they were going to strike because of the security situation mm. that is not allowing their children to go to school and for them to work. Yeah. But I now saw that it was about salary and all that. Uh, there are so many things that, will, that should make people a, a strike, to rebel, to do a lot of things because um, of what uh, is given to them, as it were. The government or whoever is responsible should not m allow this to be an issue. How can someone be protesting for salary, for arrears, for promotion that is due them, that mm -hmm. is in the books that you are supposed to give them? And that's why people in Nigeria will tend to lie all the time because I I'm thinking about retiring and I know that when I retire, I might not get my benefits okay. because mm -hmm. when I'm in the service even, I'm not getting my benefits. So when I retire, is that the time I'm going to get my benefits? So I want to falsify my years and I'm 80 years and I'm still... Sometimes uh, when I'm 50 years, my son is 49 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> because I don't, to leave, I don't want to leave the service because when I leave, I might die without having my benefits. And this should and you never, need income flowing every month. It should never be. Okay, now we, we've heard that um, uh, the, uh, the president has approved payments of um, 
uh, allowances and salaries for sports people, uh, the Super Eagles and other uh, groups that were old areas and all that. Uh, we do hope that it will trickle, trickle down to all aspects of our economy, all aspects of our national life. Mm -hmm. If it is salary, let it be paid on time. If it is um, uh, retirement benefits, let mm -hmm. there be a system that you don't have to uh, go and struggle for it and be spending time there's some people slum there some die there uh, on the lines when they're tr waiting to get verification and uh, the rest of all those things it's it's not it's not good enough yeah. in the uk they added whether two years or three years to the retirement years of the people and they were protesting that how can you add that we want to retire and go and rest, rest in right. nigeria people are falsifying right. their years yeah. to make sure that they Money extend it mm -hmm. and when they extended it by five years a lot of people were clapping because you know those are the only years that you might see what is called salary mm. or emoluments from the government it should stop yeah so i i think um a laborer is due his wages if someone is working Simple. for you, Simple. pay them. It shouldn't, it's undebatable. They gave you services. They brought their, their selves to you, worked for you. Why are you not going to pay them their salaries? And guess what? They're paying transport to come to you, right? There's transportation costs. They have to feed their families. They have to um, pay their rent. There's so many things. People have bills to pay. And we're talking about a crippling economy. So how do you expect them to survive? So if someone is working for you, Pay them. Pay if they're due them. for a promotion, promote, promote them. them. You, don't, you don't stifle their, their growth and you don't hold their money to ransom. You should be able to pay them because I think money most times is a motivator, especially if I'm working for you and you pay me on time. I'm happy that you're paying me and I'm being motivated to come to work and even do more. But if you're not going to pay me, I can now decide I want to be lackadaisical. And I'm like, mm, I'm not bothered. After all, I don't have money. No, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not going to show no, up my today. Papaya, <laughs> that's, that's always the case. And even if it's a, it's a private entity, mm -hmm. pay your workers. Yeah. I, I, sometimes there's this mentality also from the private sector uh, where maybe you have a domestic servant and mm. the domestic servant has worked for a month and when you manage to pay the domestic servant you are expecting the domestic servant to come back and say thank madam you. thank you mm. for what do i need i'm not owing you thanks if i say thank you it's, it's fine good, because yes. because that's well, what don't be society. entitled it's to not, it's not a right that you have whatever you employed me to do i have done thank you is not part of it it's a transaction so if i'm not saying it's not good to say thank you and all that but did you how many thank yous did you say when that person was, was offering working, the services wake up in the morning you, you employed someone to take care of your children that same person is washing your clothes mm. sweeping your house all the things that were not in the agreement mm. and you're not saying thank you you're still loving it over that person shouting down on that person and then you pay the paltry sum that you're paying and if he doesn't or she doesn't say thank you you fire her or you punish her or you do some other things. I Just don't, don't even deeds. get me started on that. I don't even want to go into domestic. Anyway, let's go to the next <laughs> top trending issue uh, still on labor. Labor raises a uh, negotiation team as labor president lists conditions as the Nigerian Labor Congress and LC has raised a team to negotiate with the government in line with the promise made by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in his New Year address that his administration will implement a national living wage. The current minimum wage negotiated in 2018 expires in April 2024, which is part of the standard of each agreed minimum wage having a five-year lifespan. The current minimum wage will be due for review soon. What is the situation on the setting up of the committee for the exercise? That's the question. While the federal government has yet to set up the committee to determine a new recommended minimum wage, NLC have submitted the names of those who are to represent labor in the committee. While the federal government effectively reneged on all the agreements reached with the NLC in the Memorandum of Understanding, including the 35,000 Naira Petrol Subsidy Palliative Wage Award, which only one month was paid, the NLC President Comrade Joa Jairo insists the government will start the year with the payment of arrears. According to the NLC President, in coming to the proposed new minimum wage of 200,000 Naira, the value of $200 at the time was used as a benchmark. 
While not revealing the strategy Labour intends to use in its negotiation with the government, Comrade Ajero explained that the considerations at the forefront of proposal will include the cost of living, devaluation of the currency and the labour market vis-à-vis -vis the countries that share the same economic indices with Nigeria. Mm. Okay, minimum wage, 35,000 yeah. naira. Some states have still not paid, you know. They're, mm. they're still not able to pay 35,000 naira. In short, 30,000 naira minimum wage. This uh, wage award of 35,000 was uh, promised by the government and they didn't pay, the federal government. They didn't pay. According to that report, it's only one month that they paid. And we're talking about 200,000 naira minimum wage. How when do I we... got to that point, I just smiled. I'm like, is that even summer. realistic? It is realistic. It is, it is achievable. But, you know, the word realistic that you're using, I'm sure, can it be done? Yes. Will Nigeria do it? If we're leaving from because 35 that has even not been paid. 30 even. And going to 200. Yeah. But Libo had a point. When they were negotiating for 30, the dollar was 200 naira per dollar. Now the dollar is 1,200 1, naira. Yeah. And if you're talking about going to uh, 200 thousand naira as minimum wage they will be wrong less than they will be wrong but will the federal government even do it because as we speak according to the report there has been no committee set by the federal government to talk about this labor has already done theirs but the government hasn't done theirs and if by april where the new minimum wage that we are operating upon now uh, expires will that be the time they will start to talk about whatever uh, it's supposed to be. I, I, I honestly, I even think the the amount of two hundred thousand is quite little. It's small because how? What can two hundred thousand actually afford you right now in Nigeria? We're talking about the value of our currency. Now, I remember as a student when I was studying in the UK, and the minimum wage as at that time was six pound fifty. And as a student, I can only work twenty hours per week. So I'm just trying to roughly do the calculation. So if I'm working £6.50 per hour and I'm doing 20 hours a week, that's about £130 that I make in, you know, in total now per week. per week. Now times that by four weeks, especially on the summers. So on summers, I would you know, take jobs. We're looking at at least over £400 that I'm making in a month as a student, and I'm only working 20 hours, I'm not doing a full-time job. For a full-time job, we're looking at, okay, seven hours, which kind of like average to about 40 hours in a week. It doesn't week. exist in Nigeria anyway. You're yes, expected to you, get to work at seven, close at six or five. Yes. So yes. that's more than the eight That's hours. even more than the, the, the time, but let's just say 40 hours. Imagine how much I would be making as a full-time, um, you know, in a full-time job. You're hearing people making money of about... 30, 40,000 pounds. So guess what? What is 200,000 going to do? That's 2.4 million naira. We're doing the numbers right now and it's not adding up because before I pay my rent out of that, what's left? I'm trying to live in a small sized apartment before I pay transportation to my workplace, before I eat because I have to eat now. I need strength before I'm able to even put clothes on my body. So when you think of all of that, the value of 200,000 doesn't really do anything. But are we even going to, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have this conversation later on mm -hmm. when they're done with their negotiations and stuff. Am I sure that 200,000 naira is realistic if we're leaving from 30, 35,000 all the way to 200 and even that 200 doesn't even have value question number one can nigeria pay yes will nigeria pay no um, we're not sure <laughs> okay, we're not sure <laughs> we're not i would sure. have just said no but mm. we are not sure of that but let them do something that will show that they have the interest of the people at heart i mean if i can board a train for instance from lagos to my village in cross river state uh and i am paying very little amount of money it will mean that I will not lack for food because mm -hmm. there's a lot of food where I come from. So yeah. I can always go anytime I want to get the food or get that food sent to me here in Lagos. So things will be so easy. I will not be considering what kind of uh, um, money you're paying me. If education is so simple or, or cheap that my children can go to school, I will not be thinking about mm -hmm. that. If there's regulation in the kind of... Um, uh, rent, landlord laws mm -hmm. that we have, and we see that 
uh, we can afford our rents, I will not be thinking about 200,000. Yes. So there are a lot of factors that the government is not looking at. So even just increasing it, even if you're increasing it to 1 million naira, and there are no regulations and there are no things that are put in place, yeah. it will still be not be enough. enough. Because once that 200,000 comes, I, trust me, one room apartment, not even mm -hmm. not even a self call, a face me a face your mm. apartment could go as far as uh, three hundred, five hundred thousand naira. Yeah. And there's no water inside, there's no toilet <laughs> inside, and there's nothing inside. Yeah. But we have just heard that this thing has come. There's been a raise in the yeah. minimum wage, and but it, it, everything it, it, will skyrocket. Does the value go hand in hand? I think maybe so. It will never question. go hand in hand until until a lot of things are put in place. Right. That's the thing. And I feel like if you can afford hundred and sixty million naira. SUVs for your. I know I keep bringing this up, but yeah, because it bugs go me. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can afford that for you know your House of Representatives and and all of that, then why can't you pay people? Because guess what, their salaries are huge. But, and their salaries but, are not have only you, have huge. Have you noticed that they have allowances? Have you noticed that the budget of the National Assembly alone is higher, is higher than education budget Ridiculous. and so many other sectors put together maybe like five sectors put together yeah you, and you're, st you're and telling me salaries for people but then they're less than a thousand people in the national assembly and they don't even do fine i understand i i can't i can't imagine you know what their job description would be like i can't imagine you know having to think and you know uh, manage hold on hold on hold on I'm, I'm trying to play devil's advocate yeah but nothing. I, I can't imagine maybe having to like rule the affairs of a minister history and stuff but right if you're going to do that i'm sure you're not the one in the field i'm sure you're not the one doing all of the work you're probably in your office on your desk receiving a very cool air conditioner for and minister, signing stuff for a minister i could even understand because you are doing the thinking and then you're organizing right. everybody else to think for a representative you're supposed to go home to your people they tell you what their problems are and you, come you collect and relay these problems it. and take them to the national assembly you are not even expected to just be there and decide for your people if i'm representing my people what are the problems of my people that's why they call some things town hall meeting mm. have these town hall meetings let them tabulate Sometimes their problems they even go back your home. own is maybe there's a legal framework that uh, has to follow that and all that so you go there fine-tune everything present it to the national assembly so what thinking cap are you wearing mm. that that you'll be given two million naira uh, in your inbox to go and enjoy yourself when the people the back people, home do not yeah, have any food to yeah. eat normally so don't nobody should tell me their workload is so much this well, and that. There's, there's nothing <laughs> they buy the 160,000 uh, million, naira. million naira suv to drive on the roads that they have refused to legislate or, or make sure there's money available to work mm. on these roads. They're not telling the federal government this is what is supposed to be done. They want to come and drive on those roads. And they don't go home. How many of these legislators actually go home? Maybe the ones in the or I don't know. I, I think our politicians have made politics or people, right, right, because they come from us. So people have made politics a poverty elevation scheme. Because you're thinking, oh, I'm going there just to make money for myself you're not thinking of your nation but i mean let's leave it there let's just run through this last one yeah sarap tells tinubu to probe better edu over 585 million naira payment more outrage has continued to throw the alleged instruction by the minister of humanitarian affairs better edu to the accountant general of the federation oluwatoni sikirat mandane to transfer 585 million naira to the bank account of an individual the instruction for the payment is contained in a leaked letter dated December 20, 2023. In the letter, Edu instructed the Accountant General to transfer 585 million 189 500 naira to the UB account of one Onyelu Bridget Mojisola. The transfer contravenes various sections of Nigeria's financial regulations 2009, which are meant to prevent fraud and other forms of corruption. Reacting in a statement, the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, asked President Tinubu to probe the said payment. The group specifically wants the President to direct the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Latif Fagbemi, and appropriate anti-corruption agencies to promptly and thoroughly probe 
probe the alleged payment by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Beta Edu, of 585.2 million naira meant for disbursement to vulnerable, vulnerable people in Aquayubom, Cross River, Lagos, and Ogun states into a private account. Sarab Deputy Director Kolawali Oluwadari said in a statement that anyone suspected of involvement in an improper payment or diversion of public funds should be brought to justice and, di and any diverted public funds returned to the public treasury and paid directly to the rightful beneficiaries. Meanwhile, the minister has denied any wrongdoing in a post on X insisting that the payment followed due process. She claimed that under a watch, no one at the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation will embezzle government funds. Edu's predecessor, Sadia Omar Farouk, is being investigated by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, for alleged fraud. The fraud allegations now taint the government intervention program. I mean, I chuckled there because is this something that we keep seeing? I mean, the last one had something like this, and now it seems that ministry no, just... No, my problem here is, well... Uh, according to Better I Do and a lot of people in that ministry, the money was approved, it passed through due process, and it is, it is wrong to pay to an a, individual, individual account, account, but they have been doing it in the ministry. So if it has passed through all the relevant pr processes, maybe an accountant in that place or something, whatever it is, it's I wrong. I think going forward they it, shouldn't. Yes, it is wrong. I, I, I know that. But my problem is that better I do blew the whistle on the 44 billion naira diversion mm -hmm. uh, by the predecessor and some other people yeah. and because of that that's just me thinking because of that um, this one has now come up mm. everybody's talking about this and nobody's remembering seems to be remembering because this report for instance is talking about what better I do has done even mm. though there are evidences cross river quite and, um, and uh, the other Ogun Lagos, state, Ogun state these payments have been done already. There are evidences like that. But nobody seems to be talking or giving much attention to the 44 billion that was mm. diverted without any due process. So now it's as if let's bring something else mm. so that the, the weightier matter can be forgotten. Yeah. We, should, we should treat them in, individually, individually, but we should talk more about the 44 billion, yeah. not the 500 and something yeah. million. I think, I think Nigerians. It was wrong mm -hmm. for them to pay into an individual account, but the prominence that this is taking above the 44 billion is what is worrying me yeah i think nigerians the moment something happened they forget the other ones and then you know focus on the new thing that has just happened but yeah it shouldn't it shouldn't be that way let's let's probe into all of them if anyone is paying to any first you shouldn't pay to an in individual account mm -hmm. there should be a so company if the minister's wrongdoing was paying into the individual account but we can have evidence that all the payments to the rightful people have been done. Yeah. It's a lesser evil. Yes. But the person who removed 44 billion... And we don't know where it went to or what it's been used yeah, for. And who approved it, mm -hmm. we don't even know that. We should talk about that even more. Yeah. Anyways, let's go on a quick break. We'll look at what the weather is this morning in Lagos and other states of the Federation as well as Africa and the world. But um, yes, when we return, we're looking at off the press and knowing what the national dailies are saying this morning. Stay with us.